the idea was also to make the link with the human between the, the machine or the object and the human. That's why you can actually play with our installations. So if you blow, for instance, gently on the windmill here, you will just start one, uh, one installation. It's a way to, sh it's like a visual way to show what happens in a computer, we could say. The shapes of our in installation, they came up, I think, because of practical issues. You know, we had to have uh, some space. <laughs> we have to have some space uh, for the motors and the electronic, which, is, which are inside um, the, the base. And f for the surfaces, the, the round shape, came just naturally. We wanted to work on something um, that is nice to see and quite playful. For me, yeah, I said modularity is interaction for two main reasons, because the first one is that when you see something modular, there is only, you know, there is the, the result, the piece, and it's not visually modular. That's why we choose to work on something like a kinetical or kinetic installation, something that you see moving and because for me it's also about movement rhythm and everything in, that goes in that direction with modularity. And the second main um, direction for our project was the link with the computers because the idea of modular, well, the computer started with the idea of modularity, like simple codes. And, they, and, that, and, it be, and it's becoming today more and more uh, complicated. Now, yeah, the goal I think is to make it look even more like living, a bit like our ins installation, that's what I wanted to show as well. The modularity lies here in, the, um, in all the um, possibilities you have in that technique. The object itself, the table, when you only look at the table, of course it's not modular because it's massive and it's there and, and you cannot really change it as it is now, but it's more the technique that you could apply on many different objects and I'm, I'm already looking forward to, to work on a new object with that technique, for instance. You, could, you, could, you can change the pattern, you can change the tool, you can change the color of the, of the anodization, you can change, of course, the, the shape of the object, and that's what really interests me with uh, such a project. I think before, modularity was a lot about um, physical things, you know, you, like Lego, for instance. You just build something with bricks, modular bricks, that you can almost build whatever you want, but now it's also conceptual, for instance, with internet, with all you can build in 3D and with the new technology as well. And it goes more and more in the human, in the body, like in the biological uh, direction, I would say. So you could, yeah, like the brain neurons, for instance, they, they are modular in the way they build new connections depending on, on the need of them. So I think modularity goes more and more in that direction.